Heavy. Guitar tabs, guitar lesson. All right, so I'll be arranging this in a drop D tuning. Um, you can definitely tell they have some, uh, you know, maybe like another bass going or just super low tune stuff happening. But uh, for our purposes here, just to keep it more accessible and easy just to jump in and like, you know, get the, the main chords. Uh, I'm just gonna be doing like a drop D tuning here. So D, A, D, G, B, E. So uh, that's what we're working with here. Um, we'll be all good as far as matching the key and all that good stuff. So uh, this initial section, it's kind of like this extended intro. And this is where you definitely hear a lot of that super low uh, stuff going on. Um, but for the most part, we're just playing initially uh, this G flat power chord here. So this tuning, D, A, D, G, B, E, drop D, just be at the fourth fret. And we're just strumming right on it, like quarter note style. You know, about four, four groups of four. And then we drop it down to the E flat at the first fret on the DAD. Same deal there. All right, and uh, then we'll come up to the eighth fret here um, for this, you know, B flat. And uh, th this, you know, they drop it super low here but you know, we're not gonna go that way. So then we'll just come up to it. Uh, so we'll be here at the eighth fret and just strum that out four times as well. All right. And like I said, you know, they're so low on it that it's almost just like a muddy, like you can't even tell what it is, but uh, for our purposes, we'll just do it at the eighth fret for that B flat. And over the top of the intro section, a second guitar comes in and just, just does some like higher kind of lead tones, I guess. Um, for this, uh, you can either just like strum away on it. Um, it almost sounds like there's just cranked, uh, you know, like reverb and echo going on. So it just kind of sustains it. Um, but what we're doing here is just kind of some octave notes. And we start by doing 11A with a 13G. And it's just ringing and going, you know. And then once we get to the E flat chord, then it'll hit uh, nine and 11. All right, and the next chord, we just go uh, eight and 10. And once the verse and kind of like the main song gets going, I guess, it kind of does a funny thing where, you know, it just almost switches keys, it sounds like. So uh, instead of starting at that fourth fret for the real like kind of dark, doomy gloomy stuff then it just kicks it up and we start at the fifth fret all right for that g and you know the whole kind of mood shifts a bit there so um we're just strumming away on fifth fret now and we do about seven of these all right and then we drop down to the e flat at the first fret okay hang out there for you know about eight strums take it up to the tenth fret now do about seven or so strums there. And then up to the 13th fret. And here we just hang out for about eight strums. All right, this next section here, uh, we kind of have like a quicker turnaround. Uh, we start at the 10th fret, do about three there, then up to the 13 for about seven. And then uh, we do that th three times, and then the final time we do the tens. Instead of going up to the 13, we go down to eights. And over the top of that section, we'll have some lead stuff. We'll uh, start at the first fret E, then we go three, two, three on the G, open G, three, and then three on the B, and a couple more times on it. second run through we do the one e three two three on the g then we'll drop down on the high e go three one bend a three on the b release it all right a, a bridge section here we start at the fives but here instead of going to the ones we do the fives then we'll go to third fret for about eight strums up to the tens and we hang out at the tens here for about 
you know, four sets of four. <laughs> Do the fives to threes again. And then after that, the second time through, instead of going up to tens, we just go down to the first fret, hang out there for, you know, 16 strums. And then we get one new pattern on the way out. Um, just happens a couple times there. And then it'll kind of revert back into like more of the chorus section there. Um, we we'll just do three strums of fives down to first fret for four, up to tens for a few, and then thirteens for four. 